May I have a volunteer, please? Yes, you in the polka dot dress. Now remember, ladies. Grip, wrist, follow through. Let me see your grip. Very good. Now, repeat after me. Bernard. Bernard. You've been a bad boy. You've been a bad boy. Follow through. Oh. Wonderful. Come on, everybody. Let's give Alice a big hand. Thank you very much. Wow. This Alice has got to be some kind of woman, huh, Stella? <laughs> I don't know what brought me to Mistress Miranda's. Circumstances, I guess, I don't know. Or it could have been the ad I heard on the radio. Or it could have been the fact that I needed a real change in my life. And now, ladies, step number two, dressing for power. Ladies, welcome to our dungeon and Miranda Couture of Domination. From this fourth collection, Mistress Angelica is wearing our most popular outfit, complete with whip, stilettos, and this unique mask. Available now for a reduced price of $99.95. From Budapest, Mistress Dushanka, the former world renowned lion tamer, and her she is wearing a one-of-a-kind ensemble designed for total quick control. Ensemble including chain, color and mask will be available next year only through our catalog. This irresistible airy spring outfit for the hostess will stop at nothing to entertain her guests. The shiny boots are made of recyclable, fine Italian plastic on sale for only $2.99.95. Notice, ladies, when handling two men, Shen must be thicker and stronger, constructed from space-age metals. They are light, beautiful, and safe. Mistress Shao Li is from Tibet. She is using a combination of mind control and good old fashioned feminine ingenuity, resulting in complete submission from this too dangerous outlook. Miranda offered me a job. It was exactly what I needed. If I could be in control, if I could tell someone else what to do instead of being told, I knew it would change my life. Really? He likes to get dizzy and then kiss her feet. Oh, 
it would be an easy one to start with. No, not interesting enough for a woman of your potential. Let's see. Come on. Sit. of a big bank. Come here. Come on. Get the bone. I'm taking you back to the pound. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I mean, I want to be strong. I'm just not sure how committed I am. Oh, you'll be just fine, baby. Just remember, you're entering into a contract of trust with your client, right? You must be prepared to travel beyond anything you thought you could do to make sure that he gets what he came here for. He's a vegetarian. He always asks for extreme cruelty, no pain. And remember, rule number one, no sex allowed. You may permit your client to kiss you where you dictate. He may touch himself should that please you. But the real intimacy is between your mind. Oh, yes, him. Perfect. He's new to the dungeon just like you. Now, you're going to need a stage name. Have you thought of one? Eve. Excellent. Come. We must find you the right outfit. Lower your eyes. I miss Eve. And you're my slave, Neil. Because I'm no good. Women, they... And what do they do? They have these uh, expectations of me. They rate my performance. Good. Mm. Not so good. Poor. Terrible. Terrible, Giuseppe. See, Mr. C. That's what it's been lately. I came here to America to be a cook, start as a busboy. And the women, they all say, he's such a cute boy. And pass me notes and give me money. What exactly are you trying to tell me, Giuseppe? So they can rate my performance. Performance? In bed, Mr. C. In bed. I'm going to ask you one more time. And this time, don't bullshit me. Don't lie to me. Why are you here? My mama. I call home and tell my mama about my new car, my new clothes. And what does she say? And she say, how does my Giuseppe make this money in Los Angeles? So I tell her, and she say, vergognati. You found no, out. English, speak English. Head forward, ass up, eyes down, and speak English. Go on. She say, how I should be ashamed of myself. How I'm no more her son. How I break her heart. Mr. Steve, I came here so you can help me break my bad habits. Now, repeat after me. No more women for money. How am I gonna live? Out! Who's gonna make my car payments? Out, okay! Good point. From now on, no more women for money. 
I'm gonna be a good boy and make my mama proud. Out! Oh! You can go. Ooh, that a girl. Mm, she's gonna be just fine. Thank you, Mr. C. I'm gonna make you proud. You'll see. Who was he? And where did he come from? I had to find out. Lady Giuseppe! Son the pezzi tuoi, con un petto un petto sol tu poi le mie pene, le mie pene col solar, vieni e senti del mio cuore. Just because you have a pretty face, do you think that makes you better than anyone else? No, Mr. Steve. You come here and you lie to Mistress Eve. Admit it. 
You were with a woman for money. You love going with women for money. Admit it. No, Mr. Steve, that's not true. OK, so maybe it's a little bit true. But I only do it because I'm used to it. And because whatever I do, I want to do a good job. It's only natural. Repeat after me. I humiliate myself by groveling at the feet of women. I humiliate myself by groveling at the feet of women. I humiliate myself by faking passion. I humiliate myself by faking passion. I humiliate myself by faking love. I humiliate myself by faking love. I am a son who has brought dishonor to his mother. I'm a son. Who has brought dishonor. Who has brought dishonor to his mother. And to all who know me. And to all who know me. You really disappoint me, Giuseppe. Thank you, Mr. Steve. You make my day. From now on, no more women for money. I'm gonna be my own man. Promise. Promise. Rule number two. Never, ever get involved with a client. Figures. Only honest guy I've met, and he's a jiggle. last night. No. The time has come for me to go out into the world and find out who Giuseppe really is. You know, inside. Oh. I'm gonna miss you all. show tonight at the club. Really? I'm sorry you're not going to be working anymore. I, I enjoyed watching you. Thank you. Do you come here a lot? Is this one of your favorite restaurants? It's my second home. <laughs> I don't know what you heard about me. Whatever you heard, that's behind me. I'm sorry. Maybe another place, another time. You got such a pretty eyes. Pretty lips. Thank you. <clears throat> what about me buying you a plate of pasta? Uh, just that. And maybe some little red wine. Hmm? We talk. What do you say? Sure. Eat your pasta. Your voice. What about my voice? It sounds, how do you say, familiar. Familiar? Uh -huh. Like somebody I know. Hmm. 
Who? A woman. Very special woman. You know, I never did anything like that before. Offer money to a man like that? We are both a little fucked up. Please, Miss Receive. Hold me in your arms like a baby. It's too much for me out there. Please, Miss Receive. Take care of me. Outside, I met this woman who came to me with money. But she's not like the others. She was like you, strong, with kind eyes. I promise you no more, so I walk away from her just like I promised I would. But... But... It broke my heart. Because for the first time in my life, I felt something. I want to be with her like a real man. A real man, Giuseppe? See, si, Mr. C, like a real man. Not for money, but for love. you seduce this woman, Giuseppe? Soft, as you see. Not too soft. Not too soft. Never too soft. How would you kiss her? First her neck, then her forehead. The tip of her nose, her lips, then down to her breast, her stomach, then inside of her thigh. It's not time yet. It can be time yet. That's it, kids. Your next client is waiting. What do you mean, next client? No more other client. I'm not done with Miss Receive. I need more time. I'm sorry, Giuseppe. Your time is up. No. You know it, Giuseppe. Nobody eats Giuseppe but his mom and Miss Receive. That's it. I don't want you seeing him anymore. He's getting far too dependent on you. And you make a pesto of the heat!
my fault I found somebody to take home to mom. So what changed your mind? I don't know which one of you I have to take. Well, you better make up your mind which one of me you want. Both. I want you to be both. So what's your problem? What am I supposed to tell Mama if she asks me how we met? Tell her the truth. She'll never believe it. No one's gonna believe this. It. Come June, we got married. The gigolo and the dominatrix. When I finally told my mother how we met, all she could do is scratch her head and say, sometimes you find love in the darndest places. If you're looking and still haven't found her yet, keep turning those rocks over, because you just never know where that special someone is hiding. I mean, you could find her anytime, anywhere, any place. Mm -hmm. 